The first thing we're going to need in order to actually build our project is Visual Studio 2022. I'll include this in the description or comment or something in case you can't find it, but you just want to grab the Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition. It doesn't cost you anything. Go ahead and download that, get it installed. It'll probably take a couple minutes. Now we're going to go over to our Unreal uh, project tab and I'm actually just going to open a new project for this one and it's a blueprint project and I'm just going to call this demo build. Now that we are in our new project or you are in your existing project, the first thing we're going to have to do is go over to tools and new C++ class. This will convert our project from a blueprint project to a hybrid project. So it will be a blueprint C++ project. We're gonna do a none. We're gonna leave the name, the default, my class, and we're gonna hit create class. Project now includes sources. Please close the editor and build from your IDE. So basically what we have to do is go ahead and hit no and you can close your project for the moment. Now you're going to navigate to your Unreal Projects folder. This is where all of your Unreal Projects are. We're going to go into our demo build and we are going to launch the C++ class from here. It's the extension .sln. Now the reason we didn't open it while we had the editor open is it would have thrown an error. So just kind of saved you guys a little trouble there. So this is gonna take a second to load all of our code for the first time. And now that, now that it is done loading all of our code, we can go up here to build and hit build solution. The build succeeded. Hopefully yours does too. And it took us about 47 seconds. Yours will take a lot longer if you're not doing a demo build. So now we can close our Visual Studio and go back into our Unreal project. Now that we are back in our Unreal editor, we're gonna go down to the project settings. And we are gonna take a look first at our uh, Windows tab here. This is for building to Windows. So here is where we can edit our splash art, which is basically uh, the art that starts up when you boot up the project if you feel like changing that a couple other windows settings that you might find useful we won't be doing anything in here now we're going to go up to our packaging so pretty much can leave it blank from here we will be doing a full rebuild because it is our first build uh, you probably won't want to check this every time. If you have different build configurations, you can select them from here. We're just going to be leaving ours on development. Uh, and we're going to call our build target uh, demo build. Now we can go ahead and close our project settings. We are going to go to our platforms button, go down to windows and cook, or not cook content, package project. Now we are going to need a folder for it. So I'm going to call mine in the Unreal projects. I'm gonna call this new folder windows. folder and demo build. So now if we click our show output log, we can see that it is indeed packaging. Depending on the size of your project, this could take a very, very long time. This is a small project, so it should go very quickly. So you can see our build was successful. Hopefully yours was too. 
and it took one minute and 41 seconds. Uh, typically when I run a larger project build, it takes an hour or two hours to build. Just keep that in mind. So now that we have it built, we're gonna go to where we built it at, which we can see is in our windows, demo build. Now we have an application file called demo build. And if we double click it, we have a, well, the game we made, so whatever you built will be here. Obviously there was no uh, intros, cinematics, anything like that, because we haven't made their, put them in. But here's how you build a game for distribution and put it into an EXE that other people can access. So one important thing I forgot to include in the main video recording, but I, I wanted to include was the size of your output is going to be extremely different than your actual project folder because your build only actually includes things that are used inside the project. So let's say you have a bunch of Megascans folders in your project because you're looking through it and picking stuff out. When you go to build it, it actually only includes the materials you used in levels or in the game. So if your project folder, let's say it's 150 gigs, but you used only a couple things, your build file may only still be a gig or two large. So we can actually see this by if we go back into our folder, go to our demo build, back up a little bit here. We can click on properties on our windows. See, it is one gig. But if we go into our demo build, it is 8.75 gigs. So you can see it's about almost 10%, a little over like 15% of the size, which is huge. Because I know I personally was worrying about how big of a game I was creating when I was going to uh, build it. So something to keep in mind, it's not critical to the building process, so I'll include it after as a clip. Anyways, continuing on with the regular video here. Well, I think that brings us to the end of the video. We will cover Steam and Steamworks in future videos. They are more complicated, so they will be in their own videos and probably broken into more than one. If you were able to follow my video and get your own build solution working for your project, hopefully I have earned your like, comment, or subscription today. Alternatively, we do also have a Patreon if that's more your style. Either way, I appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.